I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, cause I like the Yo, what is up guys, Surgical Goblin here and welcome to this new episode. As you guys can probably see, I have a new overlay. Um, I also have a different background. I'm now in my new house. So from now on, you will always see this background, just a white background. I might hang something there like my uh, shack I won at ESWC, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, I hope you guys also like the, the overlay. Those um, next to the gameplay, those are elixir bars. Uh, my avatar, my new avatar, as you guys can see, my social uh, media above me, just a really cool overlay, uh, overlay in my opinion, let me know what you guys think about it. But in today's video, as you guys can see here, I will go over this deck. But first of all, before I forget it, by the way, I will start streaming on Twitch very soon. Um, I think somewhere next week, I'll try to stream somewhere next week, um, then I will yeah, definitely put a schedule, let's say three times a week, I will start streaming three times a week. Um, on that day do grand challenges tourneys whatever i would just uh, have some really fun streams uh, i hope you guys could drop me a follow on twitch already i will definitely include my twitch link in the description i hope you guys are pretty excited for that i think my streams will be really nice especially if we we'll, if we will get some um, a good amount of views of course and good amount of support so i hope you guys can help me with that but let's get into this episode so in today's episode i will as i just said i will play with this deck um sort of a pay factor actually not really but if you look at it you have the miner you have you have uh, four legendaries actually in this deck you could replace the lock for arrows if you want um the e-wish you can definitely put musketeer uh, the bandit isn't really replaceable it's a really unique card i really like it i hope all of you guys um could get the bandit from the challenge if not maybe you will still get it from the shop or whatever the miner it's it's just a control deck with the goblins i included the goblins instead of the skeletons just because goblins are more consistent in defense in my opinion but let's just uh, hop into matches guys i'll play a grand challenge for you all um this time without lag luckily uh, let, let's get into the first match so let's give him a thumbs up and a good luck um with this deck you sort of want to surprise your opponent let's say he invests in um a giant in the back you often try to do he actually goes with a miner himself we predicted this miner a really nice start and the goblins are also tanking for the the miner let's actually go with a miner and a bandit right now we defended that push for elixir for two elixir uh the bandit will kill the skeletons hopefully it will lock on the tower let's see no it will lock on the knight but it will still do a good amount of damage to the knight so not a bad start at all it look it looks like he has a really quick yeah minor cycle so let's prepare our e -wiz. i'll actually drop it here to defend uh, the musky of my goblins ready uh, for his miner and he actually uses his lock so let's drop our goblins behind it let's go with a minor aggressive you can really punish with this deck he's forced to poison there let's actually drop a bandit on the right side just because he had he still has to respond to that he has skeletons well played he's laughing right now i'm not sure why but um i don't think he has enough for minor we can just drop a defensive knight uh, right now on top of the musketeer um that should counter it all i don't think yeah the knight will not die it will still do some good damage to his knight and i think that will die let's see yeah yeah that will definitely die so really well played on defense look at the damage we did on the left side it's really nice guys um let's see if he has a poison or a rocket um i think we can yeah i was about to say i think we can let the goblins tank and then go for the miner but he poisoned as well let's actually go with a minor poison um yeah from our poison let's do let's do that combination ourselves um he drops skeletons which is a waste they would just die in one tick um yeah so far like i believe we didn't really make any mistakes um he dropped a preemptive lock but we didn't have goblins to cycle but that's also a thing like while playing this deck try to never play into your opponent's predictions because now him not having the lock we can actually build a really strong push by dropping um the e wisp by dropping the bandit by dropping goblins look at that combination he's forced to poison on defense and i believe the bandit look at the bandit guys look at it it connected that's tower um tower number one in the game he's saying wow he didn't expect it at all and look how strong and surprising this deck is let's give him the thumbs up as well um this deck i really like this deck we predicted this miner he's forced to actually use his poison there i'll drop goblins defensive wise i'll drop uh, a miner and we have another knight tanking 
Let's drop that in the middle. And the, the bandit is going ham on the musky. Now connecting on the tower. It's connected, guys. Let's drop a electro wizard. Let's drop a bandit soon. Let's drop goblins. Let's just <laughs> drop everything, guys. And look at this deck. He's laughing. He can't do anything. The bandit is actually connecting again. It will go for the king tower now. I don't think we can trigger on him. But look at the damage. And guys, this is just how insane this deck is. If you haven't tried this deck, I'll definitely give it a try. But let's, let's get into two more matches with this deck. Um... This game was just an example of how strong this deck is here. I will show it one more time. But let's get into the second match. And that's also um, a really nice feature they added. Your Grand Challenge or Classic Challenge, whatever. The crowns you earn, they will also go into your uh, Crown Chest and a Clan Chest. Ooh, this guy's level 8. I don't like that at all. I might actually just um, cut this out of the video. I'm not sure. Because it's not really entertaining to watch me battling a level 8. I'm not sure. Why Supercell uh, match, matches me versus a level 8? He isn't even doing anything. Um, if he if he isn't responding, we will just... Oh, he actually is responding. Yeah, he, he, he is responding. I don't know. I might cut this out, guys. But we will see. Um, like, it isn't really an experienced player. So, it, it isn't really fun to, to watch this, in my opinion. So, I might actually just cut, it, cut this out. And then um, I will be back at you guys. Uh, after there you go i uh freak around him i'm really sorry for him of course as i just said i'm not sure why i got matched up versus him but i would just do two more life battles anyway so um it is nice for the crown chest of course but not for him at all he spent 100 gems for this but let's get um into the next match and after that match i will definitely do one more for you all but let's focus on this match right now so let's give him a thumbs up and a good luck um with this starting end i kind of just want to wait i don't really want to send in a lonely miner unless he pumps up and he actually does pump up interesting so i hope he he, he actually does defend it but he didn't drop it on top so we will still get two hits on the collector which is nice um he has an e -Wiz, he has a um collector so perhaps he's using the golem meta deck i'm not sure about that yet of course because he, he didn't show us any other cards but yeah, the baby dragon, he's definitely using uh, Golem right now with skeletons. Yeah, he has, so he has means and we could actually get ooh, a, a bit late with the, the poison. That's unfortunate. And we, do, we don't really have anything to, to counter the baby dragon right now. So I would just let the bandit tank a bit and hopefully it will still be able to get in. Well, I was about to say, hopefully it will still be able to get some hits in. But he pumps up and he locked the bandit. But that means he spent eight elixir there. He was low on elixir. So we could actually get the miner to do some solid damage on top of the pump or on the pump. Um, and he also wasted his lock, by the way. So let's actually go try to pr punish him with a, um, a knight goblins. And the, the goblins do, uh, don't die to Zep right now. So the electro wizard will also not kill it. But he does um, he does get the goblins down. Um, I kind of want to bend it, let, let the bandit tank again. Just because I actually need to save the... Um, I actually need to save the Electro Wizard for defense. Um, if he drops minions, yeah, I was about to say, if he drops minions, I will definitely... And the Bennett connects, guys, but I was about to say, if he drops minions, I will definitely poison the Collector and the minions. And we are actually looking really good right now, but I definitely think he has the Elixir advantage. So once he actually um, puts down his Golem, I think he's about to put down his Golem, like, any seconds. Yeah, there you go. So let's actually go... Let's actually try to rush him on the other lane. Just because uh, he's low on elixir and we can force him to defend that. And otherwise it will deal so much damage. So let's actually sort of go all in. And by the time the golem reaches the, um, the tower, we have 5 elixir for our inferno. So look at the damage we're dealing. And I don't think he has enough for lightning. If he does have enough, I think any, yeah. So he does have enough right now. So let's actually drop knight um, goblins right now. We'll also drop an electro wizard on top of his electro wizard. And um, and the skeletons, but it's it's getting a bit, it's getting a, uh, it's getting a bit chaotic. Let's try to get the bandit to tank for the baby dragon. Hopefully it does. But I hope, yeah, I was about to say hopefully the baby dragon dies. Uh, maybe the bandit can lock on if it does. Let's actually go all in right now on the other lane, guys. We really need to make some moves. Um, I think by the time we have enough for our inferno. Yes, we have enough for our inferno right now. And the miner is chipping away. This will be so close just because he can... I believe he can just lightning cycle us out right now. Because his, his cycle is pretty quick. But let's try to defend again. And hopefully, whatever he drops, hopefully we can actually defend that. He actually goes with a baby dragon. Let's drop a knight to tank. Let's drop an electro on the other lane. So soon 
he actually goes with the lightning right now we need to make moves right now guys um if we don't make any moves we wow i don't know what to play right now but we need to we really need to make damage um he comes with a lock maybe if we were lucky i was about to say maybe if we are lucky our bandit but i think this is game let's see yeah he has the lightning really well played by him good game um we couldn't really get get the um, get the damage in what which we wanted to get um also the baby dragon was a bit of a struggle in this deck just because we only had the electro wizard uh i haven't faced golem with this deck yet but that's definitely a hard matchup um as you guys just saw just because i was forced to drop the bandit as a tank which isn't really ideal but i think we could have definitely won that matchup but let's do one more game guys hopefully we will get another win uh in this episode um let's shoot for the opponent right now so let's give him a thumbs up and a good luck um with this starting hand i would actually always just wait and see what my opponent does in um in a match with this deck just because it's a control deck and uh, you want to play on your opponent's moves let's say he invests in elixir you try to take out the collector let's say he um drops a golem you can rush the other lane whatever you will always try to um yeah just play on your opponent's moves like here i was just waiting until he drops something he drops his knight i can just um do, the, do a mirror move i don't really want to waste elixir so i'll just drop an electro wizard right now um he actually goes with a, a bowler interesting i think with bowler you often see uh graveyard deck so let's see if if this is a graveyard deck as well um i'll try to get my bandit to lock on the bowler and yeah there you go it locks on the bowler and look at that guys it is so quick that it will also lock on the tower right away look at the damage we're doing pretty good poison value the mega minion will i think it will die or almost die the furnace will die let's see yeah and the the mega minion died he, he he was trying to counter push he was trying to counter push but he just doesn't have any elixir he's actually going with a freeze right now he's doing some solid damage actually but uh him wasting the freeze i think he has arrows in this deck so he would be forced to uh, arrow the goblins let's see if the knight dies yeah the knight dies so the goblins will still do some chip damage let's see two steps it's still like 200 damage and the knight even gets two hits in yeah i was about to say maybe three but two hits in it's really nice and we're definitely looking really good here's a freeze we have um we have the poison if needed we have the electro wizard and we have um just just a lock to kill the skeletons so the freeze i don't think he will get um a really good moment to freeze us just because we have so many answers for his uh skarmy he is giving or skarmy his graveyard sorry guys he is giving a good poison and the bandit will do a good amount of damage versus the bowler i expect the graveyard anytime soon but we yeah i was about to say we have our uh our inferno there let's actually lock the fire spirits and the bowler i expect the freeze anytime yeah there it is so let's actually f uh electro wizard that um hopefully yeah i was about to say sorry it's it's actually really chaotic guys sorry for that but i was about to say like let's actually drop our um knight to tank for the goblins hopefully they they will stay alive the miner's doing some chip damage not that much let's actually drop another inferno tower i expect yeah i expect the graveyard anytime soon and this is really intense guys i will yeah i will look here i will drop goblins i will drop an electro wizard on top of his mecha minion hopefully the graveyard doesn't do that much damage let's actually drop the miner in the top left corner i don't think he will expect that let's poison hopefully the miner will do some good damage it's like two more hits maybe one more hit let's see how much damage that does i don't think it's enough yes it, it no it, it is not enough it will be four uh four hp it's also really important to know your numbers um let's drop a miner right now hopefully he doesn't predict it let's drop a lock right now hopefully he doesn't predict it yeah he doesn't predict it so the miner finished off the tower really good game by him um at the end luckily i didn't look uh because the lock used to do 100 damage guys but i remembered it got a nerf so uh, now it only does 90 yeah 96 damage on tournament standard but as you can see really strong deck um we did have a struggle against this a golem deck but i didn't actually see it for quite a while maybe because uh, people are testing their bandit out but if you if you want to um replace anything in this deck you could put ice spirit for uh goblins so the ice spirit can tank for the baby dragon other than that i think this deck is really solid you guys just saw uh, we beat graveyard freeze um it's, it's just a really solid deck in the in the first game we were really dominating we could um predict his miners and we could uh, make really good counter pushes 
So as always, definitely give this deck a try if you want. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And by the way, guys, I will put my uh, Twitch link in the description. So hopefully you guys can support me. Uh, maybe drop a follow already. Um, put the notification on so once I will start streaming, hopefully somewhere next week, then you will get the notification and you can see me either play Grand Challenge or whatever. You guys will see that. Um, bye, guys.